Welcome, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming. So let me first welcome all the people in the room here in London and the people that we have in the room also in, in Nairobi, in Dakar, and in Bogota. Um, we are very multinational um, in a good way this afternoon. Um, as you know, this is an, this is the, the aim of this event is to um, provide an opportunity for this global audience to, um, to think together, to reflect, to comment on the publication of the high-level panel's report on recommendations for the post-2015 agenda. Um, for those of you who've been involved in that, you'll know it was a, a lengthy and sometimes difficult process of uh, producing the report, but it's come out with something which I think um, has been pretty widely welcomed. I mean, you know, there is, it's a, it's a really a good piece of work and I think reflects very well um, a lot of the, the inputs that were had and the concerns that were shared. There are, of course, are lots of um, different ways of interpreting it, lots of things that people will argue should have been in, should have been out, et cetera, et cetera, and that is very much the point of today, to think about that, that report, what it tells us, what we like and don't like about it, and then also to think about the report itself, obviously, isn't the beginning, isn't the end of the process, it's the beginning um, of something which is a much longer and more political process taking us right through to 2015 and we hope the agreement of some new global goals on development, progress and environmental sustainability. So, thank you very much indeed for those who've come here in person and thank you very much also to the 100 plus people who are watching this online. Uh, we very much hope you'll be able to stay with us for the, um, for the whole event. Um, so this is a co-hosted event between ODI, between the UN Millennium <coughs> Campaign, CEPE, and the Southern Voice um, Centre for Policy and Development in Dhaka. So it's a, it's a really global event. We're delighted and really proud to have been to be able to work with so many partners on this event. I think it's, it's a really great thing for us to have the opportunity to connect up with so many organisations around the world, and we're, we're really delighted about that. Um, this is, and it, we're vid we are linked by video, as I said, to three different locations, so we're all going to have to have uh, exercise a little bit of uh, patience with each other and with the technology. We hope not too much of the latter. Um, the way that we're going to um, run the event, we're going to have a number of different presenters. First of all, um, Betty Maina, who is the, uh, was one of the uh, members of the high-level panel from Kenya, will give us, will introduce the event, introduce the report and give us her impressions. Then um, on my right here, David Hallam, who's the Deputy Director of the Cabinet Office team, um, who has been leading this um, in, in the UK and obviously instrumental in supporting David Cameron, one of the co-chairs of, um, of the panel. Um, then we're going to have responses, um, res a number of different responses. First of all, Deborah Priya Bhattacharya, who is the ch convener of the Southern Voice on post-MDGs, will be responding from, from Dhaka. Then in Nairobi, um, Namla Maniki Mangaloso, who is the um, director of Africa Monitor, is going to give us her reflections on the report. And finally in Bogota, Philip Schronk, who is the uh, director of CEPE and the academic coordinator of the CSO and Beyond 2015 National Consultation in Colombia is going to offer his reflections. Finally, we'll turn to Amina Mohammed here um, on my left to, to re respond to what she's heard, offer us some thoughts about the panel process and next steps. Then we're going to throw it out to the audience. Um, we're going to take questions by location. So we'll go, we'll go back to the same order. Um, we'll first take some questions from Bogota. Then we'll take some questions from Nairobi, uh, from sorry, first from Dakar, secondly from Nairobi, thirdly from Bogota, and lastly here from London. Um, and those questions obviously can be directed at any of the members of the panel in any of the different locations. So it's pretty exciting. It's very global. It gives us really an opportunity to talk to each other in a number of different places. But as I said, it's a bit complicated, and we might all need to be a little bit patient with each other. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much in advance for that. Um, we're on a very tight schedule. So without further ado, let me turn over first to uh, Betty Maina. Welcome, Betty. Thank you very much for being with us today. And um, please kick us off by giving us what you see as the the main things that you'd like to say about the high-level panel report. Thank you. 